Hey, it's Chris here at Sewn HGB. In this video, I'm going to show you our brand new ceramic coating plastic and rubber. This is a long-term problem solver for your faded plastics or protecting your new plastics. Also for rubber surfaces, restoring the original finish and giving a long-lasting protection. Stops them fading out, stops the rubbers from going dry and gives an overall amazing appearance. This has so many uses, any bare plastic parts you can use it on, even tires for rubber parts, but you can use it around the window rubbers. Um, any, any rubber, any plastic is, is pretty much on the box. But even as a tire dressing, it's a long-term, semi-permanent tire dressing. It's fantastic. Let me unbox it and show you exactly what you get. So, in the box, you get the bottle of Profiline Ceramic Plastic and Rubber. You get a lovely instruction manual which is in a few different languages, which may help some of you. And then here, also, you get four of these amazing, cool little applicators. They're actually my favorite part of this, is these app the product's great, but these applicators are fantastic. And you get four of them, because obviously, using them repetitively, they can get saturated with product, dry out, so we give you spares. This is a two-year coating. It will restore the faded finish on here, which I'm gonna show you in a second. It's also fantastic on tires. If you're using it on tires, if you apply one coating, you get a matte original new look. If you apply a secondary coating, you get more of a satin semi-gloss effect. It's actually really, really good. Okay, that's enough of me talking about it. Let me get in and show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so here's the problem. This is obviously a real good test of the product because this is a horribly old and faded bumper. So I'm gonna put a nice little tape line so we have hopefully a bit of a 50-50 to wow you guys. Let's put that down. Okay, now the first thing we want to do before applying it is we want to give the plastics a good clean. Uh, what we recommend is our Sonex Prepare, which is a, a mixture of um, solvents which will help break down any dirt and stuff on there because it's critical that the plastic or rubber is clean before applying this coating. If it's really bad like this one, then we recommend our Sonex Dirt Eraser, which will help and I've broken one here, so I don't use a whole one. But this will help pull off um, some of the oxidized plastic. It'll also help pull any dirt out of it, deepen it, give it a deep cleaning effect, which will really prepare the plastic for the coating. And with that, I'm gonna use our prepare spray, which I'm gonna spray onto here. You can also spray onto the bumper if you want. And then I'm gonna use a dirt eraser, just very, very gently, because they are quite abrasive. If you've ever used one of these, you'll know. As I'm gently going through, you'll probably see, yeah, you can see that. And it's a horrible browning from the dirt, but it's also some of the oxidized, dried out plastic, which has been removed. There we go, you can see much better. So after that, I'm now going to use paint prepare again. Um, this time spraying onto a cloth just for that final wipe so any any residues or anything that the dirt eraser has pulled off before and just removing it to make sure that the plastic is super clean there we go now you can actually see that the plastic already looks better because the dirt erasers removed you know a lot of the oxidization and actually made the, the finish more even on the plastic so now we take our ceramic coating plastic and rubber we take the bottle and we take one of these really cool little cute applicators and then we are applying this a few drops to the pad and then we will spread this over the plastic making sure we get a good even coverage. And there we go. So after I've applied that, I'm going to leave that about three to five minutes. All depends on air temperature and humidity and stuff. We recommend the best processing temperature for this is between 20, 30 degrees. Um, uh, but we say minimum 10 degrees um, to apply it. 
Um, so depending on humidity and temperature, obviously, will depend on how long it takes to cure. So three to five minutes is, a, uh, is about right. Um, so I'm just going to leave it for that and then we'll do the wipe off. Okay, so we've left that about five minutes. I'm now going to wipe off. I have a Sonex coating towel, um, which is really great at leveling off coatings with its twisted loops. And I'm just going to very, very gently wipe away any excess, revealing a lovely finish. Now, if I peel the tape away. Wow. Not only have we revived the colors, made the plastic look pretty new again. Um, that's now long lasting. It's a two year coating. Um, so it's kind of like a semi-permanent um, way of restoring your faded plastics, but also protecting your unfaded plastics. So it's a fantastic product. And I was talking about tires and you know, how good it looks. So I decided rather than talking about it, why don't I just show you? And here's a tire I prepared earlier. And as you can see, it leaves a fantastic finish on tires. And that's um, two applications. So it's more of a, you can see, more of a semi-gloss effect, um, which is lovely. And leaves a great protection on tires. It's like a semi-permanent tire dressing. So it's absolutely fantastic. Applying to tires is also very, very simple. These are obviously brand new tires, so they're quite easy to deal with. You just have to wipe down with prepare and then apply the coating. If they are used tires, maybe on your vehicle or something you're working on, um, we recommend cleaning with Multistar first of all, which will help break down dirt and break dust and stuff off of the rubber. Give them a good scrub with a stiff brush. Afterwards, then use the prepare and then apply the coating. So it's very simple. Cure time for this coating, and the reason why I've done this earlier is the cure time for this product, once you've finished application, is six hours. So the vehicle, the tires, the rubbers, the plastics, they need to sit without getting wet or being touched for six hours to help the cure process. And it's 12 hours before the product is fully cured. And then we don't recommend washing the vehicle, same with our other ceramic coatings, for seven days to fully harden. But it's a fantastic finish, a uh, lovely semi-gloss finish. I love it and I can't wait to get it onto my vehicles. Um, and let me show you the beading. There we go, amazing product. You can see how well it's done on even the most faded bumper I could possibly find. It looks fantastic on tires. So any of your unpainted plastics, any rubber part, it is amazing for long-term protection. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Also, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think, or if you're buying it down the line, let us know how you get on with it, and I will catch you in the next video.